don't have the paddle attachment, use these seven alternatives instead. If you're a baking enthusiast, you'd know how special the paddle attachment is. Most people regard the paddle attachment as an essential tool in their baking arsenal. If yours has gone missing or you don't have one, you can use any of the substitutes mentioned below. Paddle Attachment Substitutes 1. Wire Whip A wire whip should be the first choice if you don't have a paddle attachment. The wire whip helps whisk eggs into the meringue, mixing the cake batter and making cookie dough. A wire whip is a great substitute for a paddle attachment as it allows for more air to be whipped into the mixture. However, if you use a wire whip, ensure that the ingredients are at room temperature for seamless mixing. Wire whips are generally quite cheap and are readily available. 2. Flat Beater If you don't have a wire whip, you can opt for a flat beater. The flat beater is one of the most common types of beaters out there. The attachment helps you create a fine mixture. It's suitable for mixing up ingredients with moderate to heavy consistency. 3. Beat by hand. You can mix the raw ingredients by hand if you don't have any attachments mentioned above. However, this would require a lot more effort on your part. Moreover, if you're mixing by hand, it's important to ensure that the ingredients are at room temperature. This will make it easier to mix and prevent any lumps from forming. 4. Hand Mixer A hand mixer is another great alternative to the paddle attachment. The hand mixer has multiple attachments, including a whisk and a flat beater. This makes it a very versatile tool. You can use it to mix ingredients of different consistency. However, you must not use a hand mixer at the highest setting because it can beat excessive air into the batter. Excessive beating can adversely impact consistency and texture, so be careful while using it. Overall, the hand mixer is a fine substitute because it will help save time and give you the desired results. 5. Wooden Spoon The wooden spoon can be a viable substitute as it is readily available and extremely versatile. The best thing about a wooden spoon is that it's safe to use, as no machinery is involved. You can use it to mix ingredients of any consistency. However, a wooden spoon would require more effort on your part. 6. Silicone Spoon You can always opt for a silicone spoon if you don't have a wooden spoon. However, silicone spoons tend to bend out of shape due to their flexibility, so the effort required to whip with a silicone spoon is nothing short of extreme. You will spend considerable time simply beating away at the batter to get the right texture. 7. Balloon Whisk A balloon whisk is a good substitute for the paddle attachment. The balloon whisk is often compared with the French whisk as both serve a similar purpose. It is suitable for whipping up light ingredients as it improves the texture of the batter. You can use the balloon whisk to make meringue, whipped cream, and mayonnaise. It's also a good choice for mixing ingredients that need to be combined quickly. That is one of the main reasons why most baking aficionados no longer prefer hand-operated tools. If you don't have a mixer available, it will be difficult for you to achieve the right texture. When it comes to baking, the mixer is an essential tool. It helps you save time and energy while mixing the batter evenly. While many different types of mixers are available on the market, the paddle attachment is by far the most popular choice. In conclusion, there are many substitutes for the paddle attachment, and the best depends on your needs. If you want something cheap and readily available, go for a wire whip or a flat beater. If you're looking for something more versatile, opt for a hand mixer. And if you want a safe option that doesn't require any machinery, go for a wooden spoon. Ultimately, the decision is yours. Choose the attachment that best suits your needs.